Welcome to this week's edition of Mark's Tasty Tom. How you all doing? Let's get a few viewers, shall we? What are we up to today? Ah, pretty much the normal. We are obviously slicing up a few silver sides. I've got my short shorts on. <laughs> it's a bit warm in here. Uh, because I've got my machine running, because I've got chili bites and original bites in um, for a special order tomorrow. So, um, I've already cut up half my roasts for this week. I have four roasts remaining. Pai de Vigna, Beverly, Alex, Didi, Jules, <laughs> sexy legs. Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> right, shall we uh, change your view? You don't want to look at my legs all day, do you? Let's uh, put you on the cutting board. You can see all my ten fingers. Yes, that means I'm slicing well lately. Haven't lost any digits yet. Uh, my Alexa's not working, so no music today. For some reason, she doesn't want to connect to the Wi-Fi. I guess we all have days like that where we don't want to connect. So, I'll leave it and I'll reset our Wi-Fi later. So, I'm just going to give this roast a quick rinse. I've got some nice Aberdeen Angus coming next week, so don't forget to tune in. Hold up, this phone is going to fall any second. You can see it slipping. Can you still see? Of course you can. Right, so what are we doing? We are trimming off all the soft stuff as I normally do. I do need the lean this week so all this will be coming off whoa knife slip there very very sharp got to be careful so first things first we take off this sinew off the side here yes you do inevitably cut a little bit of meat off but you know what? you've got to sacrifice a little bit if I want quality I've got to be willing to lose a little bit um, no one should ever question why biltong is so expensive uh, even my suppliers this week my normal suppliers have now want to push up the meat price by a pound. Alexa, stop! Alexa, stop! Why the hell is she going to keep telling me? Silly woman. She keeps telling me she can't connect. So now I'm separating the two roasts. Excuse the noise in the background because my extract fans are on and my machine's running at the moment with some chili bites and original bites in. So again, on this piece, I'm just taking off the very loose stuff because I want the lean. I'm taking all this yucky, snotty, fat off. Um, I am going to be what I like to call pedantic. So let's just move that to the side. I'll trim that before I slice it. There is a sinew on the side here. That comes off. Got a bit of fat on this side. What I might do with that piece is actually use the bigger knife. 
cut it off with some meat because that's nice fat. I'll cut it off with a bit of meat and that will be a nice sticker built on. Let's just get that last bit of um, sinew off there. Don't like to leave a lot of that on at all. I uh, hope you've all had a good week. Uh, first full week of lockdown, isn't it? Unfortunately, some of us are still working. Uh, a lot of you are working. So oh, sorry about that, I had a phone call from my lovely other half. Didn't realize I was live. <laughs> right. Don't know if you've missed this part now, but I have trimmed the top bit off. I'm just cleaning it up because I really do want the lean built on. Um, I've got a lot of fatty in stock and I've got more fatty coming. So I want some lean. I have left the nice fat which is this strip here. Um, just to even this up now, I'm gonna just trim to get a nice straight line. Anything with fat goes in one tub, you see, and all the lean goes into another. Because you have got a bit of a vein here which is fine. Now let's even up the bottom. Obviously I want different thicknesses for different people, see? Some people want it nice and dry, some people like it wet. Let's just be really pedantic with this one. Now maybe I don't think I've even taken half a kilo of fat off this roast, so it's very good. Now, it's very nice and lean. You can see I'm just doing slow, even cuts through. I'm gonna push on the side of the roast to give me that. Support when I'm cutting through. If you have to do a sawing motion, do a sawing motion. Cut it however you want to cut it. My last little piece there is a bit tatty. Anyway, even a little piece like that, that's a, that's a snack piece. What I used to call a Hannah piece years ago. My daughter Hannah would love those little bits. So let's um, strip this through. They're all through. That's really nice, lean, that'll be medium to dryish. Now what I am going to do with this roast here, oh there's some nice fat on this, I'm going to keep that. Let's just trim all this really soft stuff off. Try and cut away from you. Sometimes it's unavoidable to cut sort of to the side or towards yourself, but um, all these videos incidentally do go on to YouTube, so find Mark's Tasty Tong on YouTube, subscribe, and see if I can go viral. That's doubtful, but you know what? man can but dream. Um, I think I've had two and a half thousand views on one of them so far. I'm going to keep that piece there so what I do I'm going to cut underneath. I might cut that again. Two thin strips but they got nice fat on them so you know, I'm cutting towards myself again. Just what I said, don't do. I want these ultra lean. For those fitness freaks out there, <laughs> I salute you. 
Well, you don't have to be a fitness freak to watch what you're eating, I guess. So, cutting this bit of fat off with meat be a nice piece there. That is now 99.9% .9 fat free. Come on, there's a little piece on the end. Now we're going to use our nice big knife, turning it. Let's get it nice and straight for you so you can uh, see. I'm just going to cut three strips off the bottom. Gives me a nice flat edge there. I'll flick it over. Now I have a broad base. I can just slice straight down. Straight down, straight down, straight. I know this is very repetitious for those of you that do tune in every week and you love the sound of my voice. There you go. I feel like I am talking to somebody while I'm doing it. I'm sure I am. Can't be no viewers. Right, let's get another one out. A couple of these have got some really good fat on. Um, like I said, I've got four roasts. I'm going to split it between the three flavors original garlic and chili. As we've got cup weather today, why not work? I've got orders to do this afternoon. Uh, I have a large order to do for tomorrow, so I'm going to do some of it today. Now, obviously, the bottom, we're going to get. Let's move that knife out of the way and just use the trimming knife. Shall we attempt to use the uh, trimmer again? Why don't we? There she is. What I will do with the, um, I'll use it on the strap again. I want the thin knife. I've got to try and persist with it. I paid stupid money for it to be sent from the States. And actually, it's a waste to me. But you know what? I'm going to make use of it because I paid for the damn thing. Let's just get rid of all these bits here. Let's take the top layer off of the sinew. That's easier done with the blade. With the knife, should I say. You can see that the really soft gungy stuff off the top. Let's tidy this up. And let's create a slip, which I've done there now. So we put it in. See, you should be able to just pull and slice. You've got to almost seesaw it. Come on, it's actually, it's working to an extent. Now it's got a bit thick at the bottom, got to pull it out and use a big knife. It's too thick at the bottom end here, but that has taken the whole strip off now. Um, a bit of meat on there, but some of it's good. Can't say I didn't try. Need to use it more, really. Maybe with some of this, like soft stuff. See, because if you do a sort of side to side motion, it does cut. Uh, I see what the guy has tried to do is try to help people to be a bit quicker, but. really 
I think more for the thicker fat where you can just scrape. I'd like to try a, a kebab slicer. You get the electric ones and you can set the depth of the slice. Um, they're a bit pricey though, so I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I'm just trying to look for a more effective way of trimming. Can be quite therapeutic. So with this bottom roast, I am just doing it while it's still close to me, trimming off most of what I can get off. Then I'm going to move it to the side. And with this sinew on the side, go in at the bottom out on top you can see that has come off in one head a little bit here whoa what have I done all right take that bit off throw that in the built on slice <coughs> mm. I had to mix up a whole lot of spices before this Tell you what, mixing up the chili spice gets into your throat. So, what am I doing here with this? This is quite all soft stuff. This, obviously, the nice hard bits here. So, try and go in just under the skin. towards myself again use the skin to your advantage pull it up and slice uh, obviously that's all coming off this is some nice pure prime anything that looks half decent Cutting off with a bit of meat because I want to obviously keep that. So let's just take some of this loose stuff off here. Again, get your fillet knife in underneath. If you are going to do it towards yourself, be very careful. Um, do not blame me if you slice yourself. I will not be held responsible for idios, idiocracy, idiocracy. Is that a word? No ice. <laughs> that got some nice fat, and I've left it with a bit of meat. Look at that. Oh, that'll be my piece right there. Let's just trim this last little bit off here. I know I'm being very pedantic, but it's because I need the lean stuff. So straighten it up so that you can get your nice long pieces. You can see the grain on this piece now is running this way, and I'm going to be cutting it across that way. If I was to cut it that way, you're cutting with the grain, yes, but I've got very short pieces. But if I cut it this way, and then it slice it, it'd be just as nice. Just as nice as this. There are some purists out there that will obviously argue with me. Say, you should not be cutting against the grain. But you know what? It tastes just as good. It only makes a difference if you're trying to take big chunks of bites out of a stick. So anything with a slight bit of fat like that, it's got a little bit of marbling this, I am putting into the fatty dish, bowl, tub, Tupperware, I've got nice food grade 
um, a 10 litre Tupperwares. So I do batches of 10 kilos. Makes for easy spicing, easy sorting. You can see I'm cutting at an angle now because my roast has taken a, a bit of a turn. <laughs> see, because I usually hold it like that. So let's do that. Get a couple of thin pieces here. Leave the fattish piece at the end. All nice and lean. Beautiful beef this. Be, like I said, I'm, I've got some nice Aberdeen Angus beef coming. Well, it's already there actually. Um, So with this, got a nice piece of fat there, I might take that piece off. This, although it's not, it's pretty gross. So, it gets trimmed off. So let's take our um, bottom round, so to speak, American word for it. And I'm going to trim off the bottom of it. Like that. I'm going to leave a sizable amount of beef on it. And I'm going to slice through the fat into the meat and across. Obviously, it's a bit warm in here today, so the longer I have this out, softer it gets. Got a nice, nice, nice fat on that. Who wants that piece? <laughs> I'm sure there's a few of you out there that will happily eat that piece. Alan Whedon, you're on number one. You're in the fans. Okay, we're on to number three, people. So, first things first, we unwrap our meat, comes protected nice, in a bag, vacuum sealed to prevent contamination, contamination, contamination. It's a very quick trim, uh, rinse. I'm going to show you the other side now. This is that bottom round bit. Right, we are going to use the trimming blade again. Still nice and sharp, this one. I had pre sharpened them all before I started today. I'm going to leave, uh, this is a bit of meat there. Let's leave that there. Even this bit of fat here, I'll leave it. It's nice fat. I am still going to trim very soft stuff off. Like I said, I'm after a load of lean this week. I had a lot of people wanted lean this last week, cleaned me out. You know what, that's good built on there. Let's use um, the big knife and actually take whole slice off there and what that does keep all that nice fat someone will have that in a heartbeat so let's turn it around now it's just easier for me to work this way I'm gonna just trim off 
the loose fat on the bottom it's different without music in here I'm going to sort the Alexa out hope she didn't hear me there now there is some sinew up on the top here that's why I'm just cutting even if there's a bit of meat over on top of it take it off Nothing worse than sinew. Just makes the biltong too chewy. Um, any congealed blood, cut it off. It's got to remember this has been vacuum sealed, so it was all sitting. Together. So, see with my knife, I just lift and I use the blade and saw it. I still think my knife is much quicker than that silly trimmer. Might clean it up, put a brand new blade on it. So I've got spare blades for it, put it up for sale, sell it on eBay, at least get something back for it, because it's really no good to me. Right, this piece again on the side here, I'm simply trimming down the side. Um, and you got this bit of fat here, what I'm going to do is slice that see this fat on one side and meat on the other let's trim this fat off before we even turn it over so i already know that there's going to be some nice fat there see so we've got some fatty out of this there is some more sinew up here. Let's flatten this bottom. Lean. More lean. See this? This is very stringy. getting cut out. Bye bye. There's some nice fat there. I want to keep that. I want to keep that. So let's cut underneath here. See now that piece, I'm just going to cut that in half. It's going to get dried. It's built on. I don't care what shape it is. If a hook can go through it, gets hung. So that piece got nice fat there. So we've got some built on the other side. Once it's sliced, delicioso. Okie dokie. How are we sitting? We've still got a bit of fat here, but that's fine. This will be mostly lean. Again, when you follow through with blade, be careful where the blade is following through to. See my roast has gone cockeye now. It's all right. Keep going. Don't stop. Nice. All the way through. All the way through. Where you've missed, just trim through. Through again, through, through. Yeah, these two pieces got a little bit of fat in. Now go into the fatty pile. That all goes into the lean. Now, again, this is nice fat on the top here. What I'm going to do this time, I'm going to go in up the top here. 
and I'm going to just slice all the way through and take that whole cap off. I want to keep that fat and I've got it with a bit of built on. It's a decent width, good half inch. And now we slice. See, if you get to a point where you need to turn the meat, then turn the meat. Beautiful, beautiful meat. Nice and lean. Nice and healthy. I'm not saying I don't eat the lean, but I do prefer the fat. Uh, my stomach is evidence of this. I am gonna put another tub on the side here now, because those tubs are getting quite full. And we have one more roast. How many people we got watching? Just three. Oh goodness gracious me. Only three people. It's awful. Ugh. Nobody wants to see me cut my hand off. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Right. We're on to the last roast. Fellow Africans. Uh, give it a bit of a clean. Oh, drop the water all down by my legs. It's fine. It's water. So, here we're just trimming the fat off once more. Probably got a couple of kilos of fat off these four roasts. It's fine. Um, you have to expect a bit of loss. But don't ever complain that prices are too high, man. This stuff's expensive to make. And the labor involved is quite extensive. So this is my bottom roast, this is my top roast, I'd like to just try and roast one of these bad boys one day, marinate it for a week and then chuck the whole thing in a, in a roasting pot, I don't think we've even got a big enough one but could put a decent chunk in there boy. Now, these roasts are on average 10 to 12 kilos. I don't like when the sinew is sort of concaved in the meat because you almost have to take, you've got to take some meat off to get it out. But the Irish stuff that I used to get, well, I'm not buying from these guys now anymore anyway. They want too much money. I told them this was my last order. take off the sinew both sides I am gonna turn this on its side and just take this piece off with the fat and I do like the last one I'm gonna clean up this edge before I've even turned it over nice fat on there and I'm gonna go sideways. I'm gonna, hmm, 
take the bottom off. Let's use my new tub on the side here. Right, let's flick this bill over. So we've got the skirt at the bottom here. We lift the skirt and we trim that off. It's just the loose. See when I lift, how it's lifting off the meat. That's how loose it is. I'm not getting any meat off with that. So that's quite good. Let's use the trimming blade again, knife. Don't want to take too much of the good stuff off. Let's take that off with some nyama. Take that piece off there for scrap. That piece will get dried. Here we've got some more fat on the side here. Take it off with meat. Becomes a nice now I'm going under the skin. I'm taking that whole cap off with the fat. See, we've got a nice chunk. Beef under there, some fat on the top. Slice that in half, it's two sticks. Boom. Just turn it over. See, so you now you've got a bit of vein here, but that's fine. So, now, down and through, let's move my roast a little closer because I'm getting a bit close to my body. All the way through, we've got those pieces, hang on, what have I done here? Oh was not disconnected. See now this piece has become a little bit of an odd shape so I'm just going to straighten it up. It doesn't matter how you do it. You want nice long even strips. And now this piece I'm going to go that way with it. See? It's beautiful. It's got a little bit of marbling in. It'll be very flavorsome. Very flavorsome. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, I want to keep that whole cap. So, let's do it this way this time. I'm going to go in underneath and out. Boom. Take that strip, go down the middle, got two nice sticks there, beautiful. Now I've got a nice flat bottom, I can simply slice, slice, slice about halfway, remove that meat in there, turn it over onto the flat, slice, slice, Should we make a really thin piece? <laughs> yeah. Some people want it crispy dry, you know. I can understand it, but the only dry biltong I'll ever eat is kudu. Dry, 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 dry. And you just bite strips off it just as a stick. Don't even slice it out. Right. Cans are rinsed. Let's get you guys out of the holder. How's it, how's it, how's it? Hi Angela, Sean, Lorraine. Nice to see you guys, nice to see you, to see you. Right, let me just show you what we have. We've got a whole lot of dry horse in there um, that I've got to do packing. Here we got a whole lot of, that's original bites up there. Down the bottom there is all chili bites. This is for a specific order. I will have a little bit over, but 
that's it. So I've got some drill holes in the fridge that need packing. There's my machine. There's, that's the paddles inside the spicing machine. I'll be using that just now. This is the meat I've just sliced up, so it's all lean. There's all my fatty. Look at the scrap. Ugh. There's my cutting board. And we are ready to rumble. So I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee after I've weighed all this and then start spicing and slicing and then put it um, in the fridge. Um, have a good weekend, what's left of it, and tune in again next week for another exciting episode of Mark's Tasty Top. Cheers guys, keep well.